Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at simplifying cube roots. So here's an example. We've got the cube root of 16. It simplifies to 2 cube root of 2. Well, how do we do that? Okay, so let's try simplifying a cube root. So the best way to do this is just build your factor tree. So I'm going to take 24. I'm going to factor it into 2 times 12. Now 2 is prime, so I'm going to take 12 and factor it again, and that's 2 times 6. Again, 12 is even, so the easiest thing to do is divide by 2. And then 6 simplify our factors to 2 times 3. So now what I have right here are all my prime factors. Now for cube roots, I have to look at groups of 3. So I'm going to look at this 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 times 2, that's 8. So really, we're saying, what is the cube root of 8 times 3? Well, that's 24. Well, we know the cube root of 8 is 2. So we're going to take the 2 out and leave the cube root of 3 in. Or you can kind of think of it this way. Okay, I've got a group of 3, so that group comes out as a 2. And I'm left with this little lonely 3. He doesn't have another two, two more 3's to pair up with and, and get out. So the answer is 2 cube root of 3. So let's look at another example. Cube root of 250. Now, 250, you could do you have factors by a lot of different things. You could divide by 10 or 5. But I'm just going to go ahead and very simply divide it by 2. So one, uh, 250 divided by 2 is 125. Well, 125 is actually one of my perfect cubes, right? So we can go back over here and say, okay, we know 5 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. So there's my group of three fives. So the cube root of 125 is five, and that's gonna come out of my radical. So I'm gonna have a five, and then a cube root of whatever didn't have partners. Well, in this case, I only have a two left. So there we go. So it's five cube root two is what that simplifies to. So we're looking for groups of three. So let's try one more. This one has a coefficient on it, and we're going to just ignore the coefficient or just kind of bring it down. Anything we bring out will get multiplied by 3, so let's go ahead and factor this. This is even, so I'm going to multiply by or divide it by 2, and that's going to be 64. Now, 64 is a perfect cube, but I'm going to ignore that for a minute and just keep going. 2 times 32. And then 32 is 2 times 16. And the 16 is 2 times 8. And we know 8 is a perfect cube root, which is 2 times 2 times 2. Wow, that's a lot of 2s. So what do I do when I have large groups of these? Well, since this is a cube root, I'm going to group them in groups of 3. So these three are going to factor out as a 2, because 2 times 2 times 2, that's the cube root of 8. So that's going to be a 2 when it comes out. I have a second group of 2. Uh, so I have three 2s. I'm going to bring those out. So that means to simplify this answer, I'm going to have the 3 that's already out there, right? Then I have a group of 2. And then I'm going to have a second group of 2. I'm going to multiply those together. Now, I still have this lonely little 2 that didn't have any partners. So it stays in the radical because I can't simplify that. So now let's just simplify this coefficient. 3 times 2 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12. Cube root of 2. There you go. And that's how you would simplify 3 cube root of 128.
actually simplifying these. We just need to talk about what perfect cubes are and cube roots. So when you take a number and multiply it three times itself, one times one times one, we get one. Two times two times two actually gives us eight. A lot of people will say six, but it's not. It's two times two is four times two is eight. Three cubed is 27 and so on. So here is a chart of the cubes, the perfect cubes you need to know, and it goes 1 to 15. Probably 1 to um, 12 is about all you need to memorize. Maybe just be familiar with the, the last few. Now, if you work that backwards and take the cube root, really you're starting with your answer and working back to, oh, what's the cube of that? What would I multiply three times to get that? So zero cube root is zero, one's cube root is one, and of course eight's cube root is two, 27's cube root is three, and so on. So you need to be able to recognize these perfect cubes or at least know how they factor.